discuss with us the uh, you said yada'u al-jizya you said yada'u al-harb yada'u al-harb yada'u al-harb what it means that he will not accept anything but islam either even the jizya he will not take it either you accept islam or the sword this is what it means yeah so what we would like you to then you mentioned that you know what you mentioned the uh, uh commentary you give of yada al jizya imma al islam or imma safe brother this is against the quran allah says in the quran la ikraha fid din in surah al kahf allah says whoever wants to believe can believe whoever wants to disbelieve can disbelieve in surah in chapter 10 around verses 90 allah says that if he willed uh, everyone on the earth would have accepted then allah says in another verse verse lasta alayhim bi musaytir we do not believe in Islam or the sword, brother. This contradicts la ikraha fid din, and we put the Quran above everything else. So your interpretation of Islam or the sword, according to that interpretation, then you're, what you're basically saying is then when Isa Lassam comes, even if someone doesn't want to accept Islam, or a, you know, even if a pregnant lady is walking by who's from the Ahle Kitab, she doesn't want to accept him, she, Isa will kill him and her kid, even those children who don't want to accept Islam, Nabi says they didn't allow to kill children, but your Messiah, when he comes from the skies with the sword, he won't give them that Quranic command of life, like, he will slice the head of the kid off for not accepting Islam. This is unacceptable. It contradicts the Quran. We do not accept this tashri. It's against Rasulullah. The hadith that we are talking about, who is saying it? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, yeah? Yes. And the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is wahi, yeah? So I can tell you that's abrogated. It abrogates. The hadith can abrogate the Quran, yeah? So I can tell you that's abrogated. It abrogates. The hadith can abrogate the Quran. Astaghfirullah right? Rabbi min kulli dhambi wa atubu ilayh. You just said Isa will come and another, abrogate the Quran. Brother Razi. Audhu billah. Brother Razi. Right? Audhu billah. Brother Razi, this is gaslighting. This is this sad, is, brother. Your this friend is in Isa will come to Brother Razi. Abrogate the Quran. Brother Razi. Inna nahnu nadhana zikra. Brother Razi. Inna lahu laha gadu. Brother Razi. Messiah of Allah. Brother Razi, listen to me. Brother Razi. Again, you keep bringing the safe. And now, why are you bringing the safe? You want to show the Christian out there that look, Muslims do say that either you, the either you become Muslims or they will kill you. Yeah. But we Ahmadis, we don't. You know, it's love for all, hate for none. This is what he's building to, yeah. Really? But it doesn't work with me. So, firstly, yeah. Firstly, he keeps he keeps on quoting. Of course, I didn't. Share, share. Allow me, allow me. Yeah, talk, talk. Don't, don't yeah. worry about me. I don't worry about. I'm listening. listening. Okay. Trust me. Okay. Trust me. So the first thing is he keeps on quoting. لا يخلق الله في زمانه الملا لكلها، and he's using the word كلها to say in the time of the Messiah. جميعا 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 Okay, brother, 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 brother is his time. The hadith, the hadith of the brothers, nobody, brothers, Sunni brothers, nobody interrupts Razi when he's talking. Yeah, let him talk. Yeah, so the hadith of the Prophet. 
the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is la yuhlika Allahu fi zamanihi al milal kullaha, and he's focusing on the word kullaha and saying that this means in the time of the Messiah, no other religion would remain. But the same is said about Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who walla di arsala Rasulahu bil huda wa din al haki li yudhira wa la dini kulli. The same word is used, but when it comes to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he accepts that this is slow. This will eventually happen. But the Quran is clear. So far will always remain. The meaning of this hadith, you have to interpret it based on the Quran. Quran says Jews, Christians, and kuffar will remain till Qiyamah. You have one answer. Abugi this ayah as well. You brothers heard him Abugi four ayat of the Quran. Who gave him the right? He saying because Rasulullah said that Islam will prevail and no other, all the other religions will perish. It's perishing only with the sword. And he said, I don't want to mention my real belief of Yada or Jizya because you people will use that that we believe in Yada, uh, we believe in love for our hatred to none. Last time I checked, you weren't Shia. So don't do taqiyya here with us. Share your actual belief. On the Dawah Wahishim, you said, Imma al-Islam or Imma safe. If you're Shia, tell us and we can change the topic, no brother. <laughs> brother, don't cut up. He is not a Shia. He cannot do taqiyya. Share your real belief here. This is Speaker's Corner. Yada al Jizya, his belief is Imma al-Islam or Imma safe. And he abrogated four ayat of the Quran. I'll give you more. Lasta alayhim bi musaytir. Abrogate that as well. How many verses do you want to abrogate today? By the end of this discussion, you'll abrogate all of the Quran. Allah says, Rasul Allah Bani Sayyid. You believe when he comes, he's here all of mankind. Abrogate that as well. The Falammat of Faith in the Ayah, abrogate that as well. Nothing is left of the Quran. That's what the Prophet وسلم, prophesied. La yabka min al Quran illa rasmuhu. Nothing will be left of the Quran except its word. Today we see a little of fulfillment of that. How much ayat did he abrogate? Did Allah allow him to? That's my question.